be damned, guys. This episode continues directly after the last one. And, you know, we get to see that epic fucking just running me to the face. Just, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shino, get out of here. But, you know, we, we, we stop right there. And, you know, they, they keep battling, they keep tussling and stuff. But except for Shino running out, you know, he actually decides to help. And the thing is, Kirito seems like he's getting his ass whooped because this dude is enraged. You know, Kirito's not really, you know, saying he's not really like, ah, you know, he just there to kind of protect him. But she, but this other dude is just like fucking going crazy right now. So all them endorphins and shit, yo, this motherfucker going crazy right now. But uh, he starts wailing on him and everything, and then he's about to inject him with the shit. He hits him in the chest. But the thing is, is that it's a good thing that Kirito came from the hospital directly from there, because he still had pretty much one of those uh, one of those heart monitors, pretty much. Like you know how they stick all those goddamn electrodes, all that shit to you and shit, all those sensors and everything. He hit him directly on it, so it actually didn't affect him. So thank God for that. But um. Pretty much, they 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 put an end to this dude. See, you know, uh, Asada pretty much, you know, smashes him with a fucking jukebox and shit, and he's out for the count. Like, ah! Pretty much start progressing with their everyday lives now, you know? And we get to a point where we actually get to see uh, Sino actually go ahead and kind of put her best foot forward, you know, try to conquer her fears and she does this by encountering uh her bullies and when she does this they actually end up pulling out a gun on her but you know it turns out being um like a bb gun and stuff like that but it almost put her into the state of shock you know she was trembling for a second there like oh my god like you know but she overcame it and everything and from that, you know, you you got a very positive feeling. Okay, she's on the she's on the right path now. Now, what happens is is that her and Kirito end up meeting up, and they meet up with that government guy that that pretty much set up Kirito with the case in the first place. And he goes ahead and breaks everything down over some over some nice cuisine, and you know what I'm saying. And they both, you know, come to terms with uh, what's real and what's not, what's their real reality. Um, and also, they, they find out exactly how everything was broken down uh, with the case and how uh, his brother that, that was a survivor from the SAO shit uh, pretty much kind of lit that spark with him and, and everything to make him go ahead and uh, be a part of Death Con and, and all this thing and all this shit afterwards. But the meat and potatoes, okay? The fine grilling was at the end of the episode, guys, when Kirito invites um, Asada or Sino, however you want to go ahead and say it, um, to meet his friends, to meet um, Asuna and everything. So they go to the to the bar, to the pub, whatever, you know, chilling out, and, you know, they're talking, and, you know, they're trying to be friends and everything, which is cool, because right now she's going to need some fucking friends. And... They pretty much tell her the reason why she's there, and that's when they bring out this this uh, this woman, this this lady, and this young little girl, her daughter, and she she pretty much confesses to her and tells her like, look, we should have did this before, um, but I years ago I used to work at that post office, and you saved my life before she was born. I, you know I was pregnant with her. You not only saved my life, but you saved her life as well. And Kirito's like, you know, I understand how you feel. I'm not gonna say that beating yourself up is 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 bad and you can't do that. But at the same time, you have the right to feel good about the situation too because of what you've done. You helped save these two people's lives and possibly even more if this guy was that fucking crazy. You know, and the moment when that girl pulled out that drawing and gave it to Rio, man tears. Do you know what I'm saying, yo? Like, just, it, it was a very, it was a very touching moment for the show and everything it was cool. I'm glad that, th th that right there, even more than what she did with her, I would say bullies or whatever, that, that now that she doesn't have anymore, 
it was definitely me definitely more a more of a predominant kind of factor to her getting over what you know this whole um stressful situation that she has with her past you know it definitely does and it's cool to see that now pushing on from here i don't know exactly how this is going to continue because when they were at the dinner Kirito got the message saying that hey this is not the end pretty much saying that look this is going to continue you know what I'm saying like like something something's going to happen like this is not just what it is so I'm eager to inter to to figure out exactly how this, how this is going to go ahead and push on and continue um but I'm hoping that it keeps kind of a similar tone or more of an intense tone and not uh go off and deviate to another different direction kind of like how the second half of SAO the original series did but anyways guys that's pretty much it let me know what you thought about this episode in the comment section don't forget to comment rate the whole deal follow me on twitch twitter and facebook so you know my videos go live i'm sham plus anime central i'll y'all later peace Yo, Independence Day out that ass, yo, you can't even hit his ass, yo. You better send the virus to the mothership. Where the fuck is Will Smith? Yeah, eject.